Does this sound like you? Oh, let's go take a look at my persimmons. Oh, f Would you believe me if I told you that growing fruit is easy? It's keeping it that's hard? Well, that's what I used to think, but now I've found a solution and it's super easy and it's gonna help you keep all your fruit. So what is it? It's right here. It's just a bag. That's all you need. Just need to bag your fruit. This is a, this is a pluot. I had another plum that wasn't bagged. And guess how many pieces I got? Zero. Zero ripe pieces. <laughs> the squirrels and the rats will come and take all your fruit. But now that I bagged it, I have 100% keepers. You know, I have a, nothing has gone in here. Nothing has wanted to. Nothing has even tried to get on top. I've had these, this fruit sitting here a couple days to see if anything would nibble on it. And uh, nope. Nothing, nothing. They're not interested or they don't see it or something. Even through here where the bag is touching, I don't have any bird damage. No pecs or anything. So this is the key, guys. And you might be thinking, what if I just bag the fruit? Isn't it the same thing? And I'm going to tell you 100% no. They can eat right through it. So this is what they do. They bite through the bag. And sometimes you'll come and you'll see a hole in the bag where there's no fruit at all. But every day it's kind of like this. You come out and you go and you check out your bags and you see, did they make it? Am I going to get any fruit today? And you're going to say, is today the day that they're ripe enough to pick? And you come and you see that some animal has gotten to it. And uh, you don't get that when you bag the whole tree. It doesn't look like that at all. It looks like this. No, no, nothing's gotten to this at all. And you get to a point where you don't have to worry whether any animals have gotten into your fruit. Because they just don't go for it. They just, uh, they don't like to crawl on it. They don't peck on it. I have no idea why, but they just don't get inside. And you, you just start thinking... You stop thinking about whether any pests have gotten to it and you start thinking did I leave them on too long <laughs> all right we're inside my tiger panache now and you, you see this this fruit is just burst open probably from uh, the temperature swings and uh, from 100, 110 degrees to 70 degrees but this is something that I would never have gotten to eat if the tree wasn't bad Last year I probably had like 40 or 50 fruit that were all ripening and I'll tell you I did not get one single ripe fruit because right when they're almost ready, maybe a day or two away, the squirrels will come and eat it. See, it's not like this. You know, I just, I just leave them here and they, nothing goes for them. I'm telling you, there's no way I would have gotten this. There's no way I would have been able to eat this without a bag. That just looks too tempting. <laughs> this never would have ripened like this without a net. Yeah, but if you want to keep all your fruit, it's really easy. Just net it. Bag it up. And uh, you definitely want to get nets with zippers so you don't have to untie this every time you want to get some fruit. But I have these left over. They work well with stone fruit because stone fruit kind of ripen and they have pretty good hang time. But if I had the choice, 100% get one with zippers. Let's go harvest this fruit. Let's get some blue balls. I guess today's harvest, half of them probably are not ready, so I'm just going to leave them and then tie the bag back up. So how do you do it? Is you just put a, buy one of these bags on Amazon, put it over your tree. I mean, of course, this is not going to work with like a huge tree, but if you get like an 8x8 and a, or a 10x10 bag, that's usually good enough if you're doing the whole backyard, orchard style that Dave Wilson uh, talks about. Put it over and then uh, tie it on the bottom. Sometimes the critters can get in if you don't, uh, if you just cinch it down, like down here. Sometimes they can come in, come through here. I've had that happen on my peach tree. But if you just go ahead and tie the whole string around a couple times, that'll usually deter them from coming in. 
Just a couple times enough. Yep, there you go. There's another fruit. <laughs> this is what one of the bags that zipped up looks like. It's my Jujubee GA866. And right next to it is a Lee. Uh, Shanxi Li and that one keeps getting like attacked by some squirrels. I see him coming out and then just running away That's all right at this point. It's not too much fruit on it, but the GA866 I definitely want to keep so let me show you how you get in there and harvest them All right, so bottoms tied up and the zippers right there Just get in here pull the zipper up Now you have access to the tree or to your fruit and here's, here's a nice looking fruit right here. That looks pretty decent. There's another one right there. All right. And let's just assume that's it. But you just close this, you just zip it back down and that's it. Now your tree's secure again, no critters. And you get to have all your fruit. I just thought I would share that, you know, we have so many challenges growing fruit and uh, just getting them to, getting these plants to fruit. I hate to get to that point and just lose the whole crop. So I thought I'd share this method I use. And the best part about it is it's super easy. You just cover your tree and then zip it up or zip it down once you want to get your fruit. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content. Rules go wild. That's what they call me. I'm the man with a plan growing naturally. From the dirt to the table, it's a beautiful sight. Yeah, it grows gone wild. We're living it right.